Hello everyone and welcome to my next episode of Quest for Neener. Now this is a little bit special, I'm doing this for the first time, but I'm in the designer mode and I'm here going to showcase some vehicles. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started right away. So here is the F1 fighter. It is armed with um these frag EMP missiles small and then a rail launched explosive medium missile these are mainly designed to combat the deep water guard as they don't do too much against anything else but i think even at this point they can serve some purpose i'm do plan to build a carry in the future but might, might not be in this quest for neither so designed on the same hole this is a b1 bomber is done with these two EMP explosive bombs. They're magnet attached, and that's pretty much it for its armament. So both of these go, I think, around 86 meters per second. So they're a bit slow for aircraft, but I didn't really want to add any more thrusters just in case I messed anything up. So yeah, these are two pretty basic but effective fighters and this is the next aircraft which is the last one. Oh, I forgot to replace the alloy I'm, I forgot to replace the metal with the alloy on that so I'll have to fix that later but this is designed as a capturing aircraft it's a bit expensive but it just goes like 90 meters per second just captures tiles can tie up Immunes, but I actually made this because of a comment made by Damodoc82. I think that's how you say his name. As he also has a cheaper, more effective capturing aircraft, but they're pretty useful. I've especially found them to be very useful in the little time I've played with them. Next, we have a larger unit, and the Pluto Destroyer is really close because I messed up with its vehicle order. This is armed with a 40mm. Railgun Sebas. Rail. Yeah. But its main arm is eight torpedoes that drops on the enemy. Or er, it's mainly designed to target submarines, so it just drops the torpedoes on the enemy. Very, very effective. Actually. Yeah, it's rather effective. But I need to do just some little changes here as I forgot to add a ballast tank to these so don't mind me oh my fuck. Yeah. and I'll have to fix their speed in a moment or when I'm back in the campaign but yeah pretty pretty good I really do like the sea was a lot I just like see was this even though it's only been using them for a little bit next up is the pluto destroyer rebuild this is i decided to make this more t more towards anti-submarine purposes similar to the hunter submarine so it's armed with eight dual 200 millimeter kinetic uh turrets and the bottom is 16 medium emp explosive Torpedoes. These I found these to be very effective at killing AIs, as I've used it against the Onyx Watch, and it does. It's very effective. And its armor is also just one layer of metal, then an alloy layer, and then a Hess baller. I didn't have enough space to put anything behind these, so. Next up is the Cellar Water Skimmer, which is named Cellar is Latin for vest, I think it was. It's armed with eight EMP frag war, eight eight EMP frag missiles, and a rail assisted 300 millimeter Hesh gun. This was mainly designed to be a part of the a fast response fleet, which is inspired from one of Heitzmeister's fleets. I probably didn't say the name right, but yeah, also has decoys. I forgot to mention all of my ships that are cruisers or 
more expensive now decoys and yeah it's a hydrofoil water skimmer back to the so yeah, it's pretty much it for this and the hunter submarine was also part of this little fleet next up we have the ignis airship is equipped with a more efficient 40 mm receivers than the hunter it costs like around 33,000 materials, I think. Once again, railroad. It has two decoys, but it has a uh, whole second, I have to count them. 20 large missiles that are firing frag explosive. I found this one to be very useful in the limited campaign testing. Also, recently added some. Um, EMP torpedoes to this one to get rid of any annoying craft that fall in the water and don't despawn. And I also forgot to add the ballast tanks to these, so I'm going to do that real quick. Yeah, I've actually only started recently using ballast tanks and um, haven't quite used. Not all my forces have them yet, but I do plan to eventually add them. I forgot to copy. Sorry for those all this kind of last minute stuff. But. And the next up we have a design, which is the Chimera Heavy Airship. I did say this in another quest for near that I was going to build this, but here it is completed. It is armed with these 500 millimeters hollow point Cebu railguns, just some hollow point Cebu shells fired from these 200 millimeter things and it's and it's a, it has features a well features a laser system which is very very damaging it is pretty much the main armament of this craft or actually the APS is but it is a very very dam damaging laser devastating laser and on the bottom the have 500 millimeter rep 20 or or pretty much 20 rpm 500 millimeter guns and on the side there is a 400 millimeter hash gun hash turret on both sides and it has 16 frag EMP missiles and also has four decoys I found this airship to be very useful in the limited time I've actually had to play with it. So yeah, I've built quite a few units in these last couple of days and I'm going to use them all in the campaign. But speaking of the campaign, let's get into the campaign. Hello, uh, guys. Now the reason I did that is because well, I'm going because I recorded a video. A whole video is like an hour long for customer needer, but I only saved at the like the first moments I got in the campaign and did a little work actually before the video even started. So was going through, I found a, the twin guards in an abyss towards me, and I should have done this, but I set the volume to the max, which I. Found it the hard way. That's not a good idea, especially when you're facing a larger ship. Receiving, moving now. So the game crashed, and I lost all of that storage. So I'm having to re-record it. I'm just gonna attach the first part where I show all the designs to this video. Listening. To this part. Listening. But thankfully, though, this should actually shorten the video quite a bit because I just was building up my forces in a while. I was gonna cut it out anyway, Listening. but it just save me some time. Listening. Moving out. So, I'm just going to go ahead and declare war. And I have saved right before this, so uh, at least I won't lose my units in the score of the declare war. Moving out. Which happened the last time, actually. The Chimera is going to make its debut and just face this little Listening. terror war. This is going to be... Just more or less a showcase of the 
playing the spider power in the test subject. If it does have limited defenses, they won't be able to do much. And the laser is... Okay. Chimera's doing something very weird. But the defenses are all firing. I'm just having to check my mic to make sure I can turn it off. And there was a nice little salvo there. And yeah, I believe that it was just a whole single kill. Torpedoes just passed. The laser is just too too wet. And the terror is now responding. Any form of the terror is just kind of. And now Flipping. I need to Moving out. Oh yeah, speaking of it, I have built a fast response fleet. So I will launch them with the hook. 200 Herbocraft. First a model, which is a. I'm just gonna. Say I the first model, which is a heavy cruiser, a the model cruiser, two to destroyer, and then another two to destroyer. And the fact that should be this. Receiving. Now the main thing I built is this tier super battleship and two Pluto destroyers for escort. Moving now. Moving now. Moving now. I've also built a Chimera ship and the first a air fleet. Listening. Receiving. And yeah. Listening. Also Receiving. added two destroyers to make the first fleet with the Mars battleship I had. And yeah, I think that's about Receiving. It. Receiving. Receiving. I had a, oh yeah. Listening. I had over there. Listening. So Moving however, out. I should Listening. Be Moving out. Listening. Moving out. Listening. Moving out. Capture points. Moving out. Moving out. Receiving. Capture all the territory. Listening. Moving out. Listening. Moving out. Oh yes, I did, since the re-recorded video, I'm not going to do this probably in this video, but the next quest for me is to them. So turn around and I'll showcase my logistical rework of all my logistic units. Listening. Moving out. But for now, I'm just... Listening. Really don't feel like it. Moving out. Have moving to re out. All of it. Listening. Because I forgot to do moving it in the video at the start, so... So I just did in the campaign, but since I lost that, you know. Receiving. Moving now. I'm Receiving. going to send the team to uh, head over here. And there's no units. Actually, I'm going to take that back. There's no abyss. So thankfully, we have a very good fight. Well, I'm just going to go speed it up and level everything. Flip me. Flip me. Moving out. And a, a one has been located, now. which is the capturing effect. Receiving. So we're just going to start it. this out with a Saturn Ballistic Summon battle right now. And the first sound will show the saving this. This, this island perceptor still needs to work. I haven't really refined them yet. So I definitely need to do that at some point in the future. And like I said, the first salvo can be more than enough to deal with this terror. And the terror can still have explosions. And looks like it is pretty much destroyed. Moving out. Flipping. Moving out. So the abyss, how fast is it? Is it 20 meters? Not too slower. Fast. Receiving. Receiving. So, Flipping. Moving out. The obsession has come, and I think I'm going to deal with it with my. Flipping. Moving out. 
second fleet. Receiving. But before that happens, the first armada is going to engage. This Receiving. 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 And I Receiving. put that Pluto destroyer way too close Receiving. to the Athena. Receiving. And this. And this is also the debut of Pluto destroyers. Are right here, which is which are geared towards anti submarine tor warfare, which I told you, but just want to remind you, I guess. Actually, actually, the hunter submarines were developed mainly to deal with the malice submarine from the twin guard. Then after that, I decided to make a destroyer that would be more escort and destroy, destroy, just like steel strider something. So I'm definitely going to use the blue destroyers probably a lot when I'm fighting the um steel striders since steel striders do send quite a bit of submarines and the Plutos are anti-submarine. It just makes sense. And the Terror is destroyed. And the battle's not over. Oh, it's a little drones. And that is a lot of units. The Viceroy Impulse. I have Receiving. always had problems with the Listening. Viceroy, moving but out, since moving out. I have... Oh, that remind me. I should probably develop a Interceptor Force. Listening. Just a couple fighters. Moving out. Receiving. Receiving. Listening. 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 And I just made my interceptor squadron, and I'm engaging the obsession. So yeah, this the laser from the Zeus is already doing part of the Engaging now. Obsession with the base, and those were the missiles from the Zeus. Since currently the Ignises aren't quite there. Or they're not. They missed the first time, so they are in the Here. Here's. One of the advanced cannons is able. And a particle cannon just fired. Quite a bit of damage. And the Ignis has just opened up its. So, yeah, these missiles are very devastating. As they are exposed to frag, which I think. And looks like it's a lag spike. I believe what happened was probably the obsession. Yep, one of these obsessions detonated. And the missiles pretty much damaging some of the top of this. And part of the is fired, exposing the engine and destroying a little bit of heavy armor. The torpedoes, or nope, no torpedoes needed. That was not too hard, but Receiving. I'm going Moving to send. Now. Receiving. Counting measures. Now. I'm need to watch you bitch very closely. Receiving. Moving now. Meanwhile, the twin guard is sending lots of units. Not all not most of them are even that Receiving. challenging. Moving now. now. Or Receiving. Not challenging, but large. Moving now. Um, just start attacking the first air fleet. 
I'm going to let the tier and its escorts deal with the receiving. 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 Engaging now. And I might as well look at my enemies since you might have not seen these. This is the impulse. This is armed with lasers and this little particle cannon. Also has missiles on the back. I'm not sure of these interceptors. So yeah, pretty solid twin guard mech. This one lost its um, torso. And this is the nest of bees. No, swarm bees, sorry. A, apparently, I don't really know what this one is. I haven't seen it a lot. But yeah, I'm just gonna let the battle. Or not, since there's a lot of missiles you have just. The tier. The tier and its escorts are currently engaging the base of the impulse. This is probably the most concerning thing on the battlefield. In the nest of these swarm of these. I think I'm being confused with another Twin Guard unit. Is AI dead? Appears something just did a lot of damage, probably the full save rounds of the tier. <coughs> Sorry about that. And the impulse is not doing a lot of damage as it is currently. The tier is armless anyway, not armless, but. For armor, it has a single way of heavy armor, which is very, very... Receiving. Can take quite a bit Receiving. of... Receiving. Quite a beat. Engaging of now. Okay. So yeah, the impulse probably won't get through that. Engaging yeah. now. I used to actually target the torso of these, but that's just, it's better to target the base. Pretty solid hit though. Tears main ones are super cavern have a super um caviton rounds I believe. So they should be able to hit underwater targets as well. If I can find where the so what because of pretty much to the bottom. Here's torpedoes. I can't find the torso of the impulse. And I just found it. And it is being bombarded by torpedoes. EMP explosive torpedoes taking a particle can. And so the tears are just torso and then the tear And some torpedo destroyers. I mean torpedoes. And it looks like that is the last of the 
Watch the village forces hover when we're very close to this. Receiving. Even the swarm. And the vice roy. We have the first interceptors floating on the way. Receiving. I do believe. Where's he? I do believe my first intercept squadron consists of five, four, I think four. Fighters should be able to be with a vice lord. If not, it won't be too big of a loss to my materials. Dude, I'm just gonna let this happen since the laser of the two pretty much kind of just pops the, or explodes the little um, drones like that. It's quite effective at anti-aircraft, actually. Although saying that, that so then I just avoided the laser by doing some uh, not intentional racing maneuvers. And the main drone is despawning, or main vehicle. However, this is being repaired very normally. Or wait, it's repairing. Oh no. And yeah, I'm just gonna let the rest of these drones explode. Torpedoes just finished off that one with in that one. This is slowly Receiving. getting towards Moving my now. forces in the Receiving. concerning Receiving. We might have Listening. to deal with this Moving one later. Out. For now, the first interceptor squadron is on its way. Listening. Looks like Receiving. we have some materials being exchanged here. Listening. And the first inter squad uh, interceptor squadron has just Moving out. arrived at the vice roar, and I'm just going to use out. it to take it out. Listening. Oh, never mind, it is five um, fighters. Listening. Listening. Now I will pray Listening. whenever I restart my quest for the campaign in the future, hopefully. I will probably use these against the D4 guard quite a bit since they're very effective at taking them out. Usually just killing the AI of the vehicles. And yep, these creatures suddenly appear to be more than well equipped to deal with this vice rule. As the MP managed to take out some, managed to do some full damage. Doesn't look like it took out anything too critical. And that fighter did must have been damaged. And yeah, it took a little bit of damage, but where in the world? could have been that much damage, right? By the way, it's just gonna slowly descend. And the interceptors release their the tool missiles that they don't appear to have hit other than this one. So far the Vice Boy has taken 94% damage. I'm hoping that the EMP scores a critical hit against the Viceroy, hopefully disabling the AI, or just something critical. And no, so far just minor scratches. Took off some blocks there. And I really need 
this thing to be destroyed. Pretty solid shot there. It didn't disable anything critical. Looks like the vice boy is going too high. So hopefully it should start despawning soon. As more EMP strikes are made. My little intercept. That's all I need. My little fighter is slowly destroying this. And some of the medium missiles doing pretty decent damage. Price rate is at 82% health. And the interceptors releasing new missiles. And scoring a couple hits. But it doesn't look like anything critical has been hit so far. Any interceptors will the missiles once again. Looks like some of them got intercepted or just got out of range. And it does appear that we have damaged something critical because now the vice is going out of control. This means soon it should start ejecting, which means despawning itself. And my interceptor forces did take a couple or a few losses or some damage, but doesn't look like anything too critical. And I thought the Viceroy was going to eject, but looks like it managed to stabilize itself for now. And the Viceroy has finally been defeated. This has proved the interceptors actually, as I didn't think they would do this well, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Mainly just because of my first aircraft, but they very well. And a shock swarm in a manticore. And I have ignored the abyss. Moving out. Receiving. Moving now. That is Receiving. not something I want to do. Receiving. Moving now. Receiving. Think and great. So the Mars have been located. I'm going to use the first air fleet. Receiving. And the Mars as well. Receiving. I'm not. I can't remember. I have faced Lifting. this once before, but I can't exactly Lifting. remember what I brought. I don't remember having missile interceptors, but I think the Ignis does have decoys. I'm going to put the Ignis first, and I'm going. Yeah, yeah that's all. I'm just going to play a one or have this more at one fifty two. A little bit obsession has spawned. Receiving. Engaging now. It is now. not something we want to happen. We want to see this by itself, so this way. The obsession couldn't do any more damage to my forces, although whatever just happened is they were main gun. It's like some kind of glitch in the torso is already despawned. Hasn't even done any damage to my forces. Engaging now. I, s I have had this glitch happen before, but I don't think it quite made the torso. And a couple missile strikes doing a decent amount of damage. However, I hope that this won't take too long, as I really want to face the abyss. And some missiles from I don't even know where. Looks like my forces are not scoring any hits against this funnel. The Ignis just got a range. 
wonder if the soft strike should be Although it's below 80% sinking, so now it's just going to despawn. And there should be a live spike fairly soon. Yep. Rather large live spike there in the um, abyss has spawned in. Now, I do believe this spawns tiny little submarines as well. Pearls, I think they're called. Looks like I'm gonna let it load in its colors. And I want to see if the particle can did anything. Nah, eh, not too much. I actually don't remember the abyss having a particle cannon, and uh, looks like the Ignis is in range of its lasers. It's very Devastating lasers. They've already ripped through the hole. And the lasers as well. Hopefully that didn't disable lasers, otherwise it's going to go. Not very good. Yeah, bunch of lasers. Luminous uh, seconds. And the Ignis is already getting devastating. I guess I hit something critical because this airship is already going down. Hmm. Well, this is going to be quite the interesting battle, as the Ignis has already pretty much. Receiving. The Ignis Listening. can't really do anything underwater. Receiving. Although, yeah, since it's main lasers, I don't think it's going to do much. Listening. So I'm going to recall from the fight. Listening. And let's me go over here. And it looks like the abyss has taken a little bit of damage. Can't actually see its damage yet. Looks like it has some pretty strong lambs as well. And however, I can't see any fire from me. You're only doing so far very minor damage to the abyss. Since its lambs is intercepting pretty much everything. And there is some serious light. This is a rather serious problem I've had. My destroyers always seem to wander into the range of other ships and get too close. However, I don't think I can afford to withdraw it, so... I'm going to have to... I'm just going to cut this part of the fight out. I'm going to see if I can just end the fight. Nope. I cannot. This means I'll have to deal with an insane amount of lag for a couple seconds. Actually, probably not since I'm getting seconds per frame now. Honestly, my only option might be to withdraw Pluto. This lag is ridiculous. thing is, they're not even ramming right now. They're just... Vert. I'm actually going to withdraw the Pluto Destroyer because I cannot Receiving. deal with this lag. And it should allow me to spawn in a Zeus. Alright. Now we do have some... Why is it still laggy? Receiving. Hmm. Receiving. Engaging now. And thankfully, though, the Abyss cannot intercept particle cannon from the Zeus. So, those should be, hopefully score a pretty critical hit. 
Yep, particle cannon hit. And it looks like it took out some battles. And the lag has pretty much gone away. Excellent. Thing is though, even if we lose this force, which I don't think we will with the Zeus and the Mars on the field, we still have the Tyr and the Chimera, so we still have some very important ships. Airships. So this loss, I just don't think it's really going to be huge. However, we lose the first airship, which is Ignis and Zeus. Part of Cannon just ripping chunks of them. That's what I like to see. Superstructure has been damaged and looks like the land has been depleted. Excellent. Very, very excellent. I want to repeat the strikes coming in. Doom. Not huge damage, but. And. Power came from the. Um. This destroyer, I think. And it looks like. My. Mars battleship is dead in the water. And. Wow, I did not see this, but. The Abyss's AI is dead. This was probably from the Pluto's EMP torpedoes I've seen kill AI many times. So this fight is went even better than expected. Now this means that the Torn Guard, one of the most expensive units, has just been destroyed. However though, I do think I'm going to cut the video rather soon. Probably gonna have another battle or two because, well, it's very late at night and we're all working on the Quest for Neater episode. I just don't think I can do it with how late it is. And looks like a tiny little hill is all that is left besides the respawn of this. The problem with the pearl is that it's probably so small that the detection will have a hard time actually hitting it. Which is why I hate these little mini subs. They're very annoying. Hopefully, however, the torpedoes will deal with them. Yep, you can see here that the... That the Pluto, which has sonar and super gravitation, is not doing anything. So, I'm... Probably just gonna cut this part of the fight out because uh, it's just a little ship or submarine in it. So, yeah, I'm just gonna cut this part. Listening. So, I just captured the pearl because I just jumped off the Zeus because the pearl's right below and just, um, exploded its AI by accident. Receiving. I really mean to do that. So, yeah, that battle's been won and Receiving. now that the Abyss is destroyed, they don't have any, ooh, Tyrannix, that's actually a pretty nasty design. Receiving. Or at least expensive. So I'm going to do with this shock storm. Receiving. Actually don't know this. Receiving. I don't think I've seen it. Receiving. Receiving. Before I mean, might have, but 
so yeah, I think the next battle, the one after this, is probably going to be the last. Also, by the look of things, they're kind of like mini vice rolls. Those are actually very concerning due to their large cost for just being a little sword. However, if one of those shells from the tier hit, it's probably going to be game over for these little things. And they just rammed each other, and that one just took some room off. <laughs> Sometimes I like the twin guard just for this. And their designs just like ram each other. And looks like I underestimated these things' survivability, as it just took like two of the two shells to the face. And a missile hit, and just pretty much took over him. And the tier now has a massive hole in the top of its deck, but just minor damage. No critical opponents were on. Hoping the missiles of the team will do some work, and I hope those torpedoes don't land on the tier. At this point, though, I'm probably just gonna cut out this fight as well because there's just not much to it. Okay, that was. Wish I would have seen that. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut out this fight too. Pluto destroyer just ran the tier, doing minor damage to the tier, but hopefully to destroy it, take like a little bit of a hit, and this thing dude was just exploded. Nice. Listening. So, Receiving. a core. Moving now. I Moving think now. the first armada will deal with this, and this, this is going Moving to be now. the last battle of this episode, as I said, it's very late. Moving now, moving Not now. Very late, but yeah, it's very late. Now I do remember the Manticore as I actually Receiving. faced it. Receiving. Somewhere. Receiving. I can't remember Receiving. where I did, but I recently Receiving. fought it. Receiving. I think Receiving. it was in the designer mode. I'm just testing it. Testing the sewers of the uh, Ignis, I believe. So this is a This is the... I forgot to turn my mic on again. This is... So I never really should go to bed. But this is a missile spewing little helicopter. It has quite a bit of firepower according to the game. And yeah, it has 16 large missiles. But it also has a very large aim of storage. So if that gets hit, the whole craft kind of just explodes. So, I'll just... And something exploded. The ammo storage, I believe, just detonated. And now the whole thing is pretty much going down. And those crimes after surprisingly hit. And it's already spun. That was a very nice hit. And as it responds, so 
Now I'm going to have to cut the video there because the yeah, ad's very late. But the next episode, we're definitely going to deal some hopefully pretty good strikes on this. Hopefully, take out at least the high veneris. Listening. And I need Moving to out. Capture Listening. Listening. But anyways, Moving out. I, well, I don't really like to do this. Listening. I just want you to ask. Moving I out. I want to ask Listening. you to like and subscribe. Listening. Moving out. To my channel. Listening. Just because, well. Listening. Listening. Well, I don't like Moving doing out. it. It's just a something I have to get used to. But anyways, I hope you liked the video, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.